All right, here are three quick examples. 3 quarters to the n minus 1 to the n over 2 to the n, 3 to the n. We want to identify these as geometric series, decide if they converge. If they do converge, figure out what the value is. Okay? Um, so in this case here, it fits, fits the pattern, right? We say, okay, what is the value of r? r is 3 quarters, and 3 quarters is definitely less than 1. An absolute value. Um, so we know that it converges, and we know what it converges to, right? The sum, n going from 0 to infinity. Maybe I'll point that out. It converges, and so let's figure that out. Um, so 3 over 4 to the n, okay? It's going to converge to 1 over 1 minus r. r is three quarters. So one over a quarter, if we simplify, we get four. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Well, one of the things that you need to realize here is that I can always rewrite that as minus one half to the n, right? Same as this one here, we could have equally well been given this one as three to the n divided by four to the n. So you've got to be able to you know, do those basic law, laws of exponents manipulations to get things into the right form. All right, it's in the right form. So what's r? r is minus 1 half. And we know that the absolute value of minus 1 half is 1 half, which is less than 1. So again, we have a convergent series. And... What is the sum? n going from 0 to infinity of minus 1 half to the n. It's going to be 1 over 1 minus minus 1 half. Okay, so 1 plus half. So 1 over 3 halves. Take the reciprocal. We get 2 thirds. Okay. Um, this last one here, well, r is equal to 3. That's bigger than 1. So that diverges.